I'm here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona with Eddie Ramirez, who is the VP of Marketing for Infrastructure at ARM. So hi, Eddie, thanks for joining me. Hey, thanks for having me today. Yeah, so let's start with ARM's role in the 5G ecosystem. So can you talk to me a little bit about what that role is and how you see it evolving in the future? Okay, well, you know, at ARM, we're one of the leading IP providers, and a lot of our IP is used in today's 5G base stations. Uh, what we're here to try to do is, is really to collaborate with the industry, to bring partners together, to actually be able to deploy solutions for the various 5G use cases and accelerate that deployment. And we're very excited to be able to work with our ecosystem of partners to do that. Excellent, and now shifting gears a little bit to what you've brought here to Barcelona, what is the 5G Solutions Lab? And what kind of partnerships have you developed around that? Ah, so the 5G Solutions Lab is an initiative that we announced at our Dev Summit show in October. And we're very, one of the things that we realized is that we can't just build solutions alone, right? We need to be able to work with the software community as well as the vast array of ARM partners that are building silicon solutions and hardware solutions. And we needed a place where we can collaborate and really incubate some of these solutions to get them to you know, be time to market ready even faster. And to also be able to showcase these solutions to various operators, mm -hmm. to the OEMs, and to the community at large, so they can really see what they can get out of a 5G network today. Um, and so with the lab, we have set up several projects, uh, kind of through multi-agreements with partners, and some of what we've been doing over the last few months is what we're showcasing here today. Uh, and so those are private network deployments, um, these are also accelerators that would go into 5G base stations, as well as an entire sort of uh, kind of 5G private network in a box kind of solution. Uh, so we're very excited to be able to demonstrate those projects which we, we've been incubating in the lab here at the show. Yeah, absolutely. And now, why would the ecosystem choose uh, your Neoverse platform? Okay. What benefits come with Well, that? one of the, the problems that the entire industry is having to face is with the power consumption. Mm -hmm. As the networks get faster, and sure. uh, they're also consuming more power. And so, a lot of network operators are now seeing that a significant amount of their OPEX is going into power. At ARM, we've prided ourselves in making very efficient uh, CPU cores, and we really think that could help the industry make more efficient, better TCO, and a more sustainable network going forward. Awesome, and is there anything else you want to tell me about what you have here this year? Yeah, I would just like to say, you know, some of our partners are announcing some very exciting products. Uh, we're showcasing uh, Marvell inline accelerator L1 card. Uh, that was actually announced to be in one of the Dell systems that they're rolling out. We have other partners like NXP who have also showcased some solutions that are, are great at everything from an ORAN DU to a small cell. Um, and so the array of partners that are starting to roll out solutions is really what's giving the ecosystem choice. Mm -hmm. And, and that's really important because you won't have a one-size-fits-all solution, yeah. right? There are so many diverse requirements depending on how many users you're trying to actually offer service to, right. whether you're trying to deploy mech services on top mm -hmm. of these boxes, and you know what you're going to do in terms of your edge footprint. Right. And so at ARM, we're really excited by the diversity of solutions that we can bring to, uh, and help the market realize. Great. Well, Eddie, thank you so much. Thank you.